Okay. First of ten about to happen here on Redcliffe Oxley meets Monday night uh, racing at Albion Park. We've got the heats of the uh, Futurity here on uh, Thursday night too. They're going to be really good heats. The Macro meets Bogey Lee Queen's their Futurity Thursday night. But this is the first for Monday. Green light. Bring back Bob in the yellow rug. The favy missed it. Bob is the way they go. And criminal act out fast. Tackled by Luminescent and Select Web. And now bring back Bob is charging up, but it's very wide out of the straight. Criminal Lack, the leader by a length and a half. Bring back Bob, comes strongly to second, followed by Select Web. Miss Bikini is running fourth. She's actually being passed there by November Cha Cha. And well back then is Lenders 5, Burnt Edge and Luminescent went back to the tail on the turn. There's Bring Back Bob with a big sweep. He takes the lead from Criminal Act. And Bring Back Bob, Paul Robson trains the winner of the first race on the 90 sponsors. And Bring Back Bob has won from Lenders 5, Criminal Act and Burnt Edge, I'd say in that order. Behind them then Select Web, November Cha Cha and also Miss Bikini and Luminescent. Five, bring back Bob at three thirty and two dollars. From a photo, between the three and the nine, Criminal Act two forty and nine lenders five at one sixty. Version of not negotiable. Anyway, number five, not negotiable, one dollar seventy. This is our Tats bed favourite here from box number five, a son of, uh, as you would expect, Knock and Norris. And uh, we'll see you soon know how it goes. A dollar seventy the five. Ready. Set. Race two off. Not negotiable out well, but so too was Loki's mistress. But now not negotiable takes the lead. And Lockie's mistress going up into second placing as they go out of the straight. They've raced right away. Ringo comes to third, followed there by Mrs. Thursday, and the others basically got wiped right out. A uh, bit more Lynn and then came uh, Epic Commanders. They come off the back and it's uh, not negotiable. About 10 lengths in front of Lockie's mistress, Ringo, and then Mrs. Thursday and not negotiable. Not negotiable will win it easily. Second went to Lockie's mistress. Third was Mrs. Thursday. Fourth in was Ringo. Then Epic Command followed by a bit more Lynn. And I'm missing one somewhere. Which one didn't I call in the run? College Beauty. Where the heck did College Beauty get to? Uh, need to find it. Just didn't see it in the run. Not negotiables one, number five, a dollar eighty and a dollar thirty. Two Lockie's mistress, four forty the place, and number three, Mrs. Thursday, no third. Time's good, thirty and sixteen. The one is a flying tea prepared by Sandra Hunt for Barry Stewart. Two ninety, number two, flying tea. Four forty the eight classy George. Four seventy number one aces alive and six thirty number six Montrose May. Green light. They're set. Racing. And Flying T out ordinary. Going fast there is Burned End and also Rossio. Now Burned End is going to take the lead into the first turn and got away. About five lengths in front. Flying T coming to second. Followed there by Currency. Rossio back to fourth. Well back is Aces Alive, Nikita Force, Classy George and Montrose made the last one. Off the back, Burn Dead in front but not for long. Flying T went up and went straight past it. Flying T has stashed away, it's home and hosed. Flying T is the tiger for the night, wins it easily. Second currency, third, Burn Dead and fourth in, Rossio. They were followed then by Classy George, made some ground to midfield from Burn Dead, Nikita Force and Montrose made about the last one home. 2437 Flying T 30 and 54 the time Flying T whipping up the tackle burned end coming off the back straight and far too good from there at the Derby Heats uh, the Derby and Futurity being conducted over three weeks here from this Thursday and a free service to Bogey King recently retired Bogey King to the winner of the uh, Futurity as well which is a really good added bonus Okay, 351, Surf and Kawadi and 8 stolen lollies here. Green light, bunny a buzz away. Master McRae began fast in the blue rug. Here comes Stolen Lollies down the outside. And Titan Keen into the first turn they go. Railing through Surf and Kawadi. Surf and Kawadi got away by two to Master McRae. Then Eyes Beautiful followed by Infant Sorrow. Well back is Pedro's Parade Riverside Lad. And Stolen Lollies couldn't get across from the eight box and is back at the tail of the field. It's all Surf and Kawadi coming around the corner. A mile in front of Master McRae, Riverside Lad, Infant Sorrow. Surf and Kawadi shot clear one by ten. Second, Master McRae. Third, Riverside Lad. Fourth in then was Pedro's Parade. They were followed in by Eyes Beautiful, Stolen Lollies and Infant Sorrow. 30.02's the run, and I'm looking for a really fast run home here. It's going to be sensational because that dog just ripped away down to the wire. Uh, 30 even the time, and the run home, 12.45, almost unheard of.
some sort of a win. Twilight Racing there tomorrow from 4 o'clock latest start. Green light, Fashion Guru the favourite, box two. Off, Mr. Fashion Guru. Thunder Rocks and Backjack to win out in a big hurry. Here comes Usain Force down the outside, but Thunder Rocks is going to outpace them at the first turn. Fashion Guru went through very cleverly to second. In trouble out the back there were uh, Lita Elijah and also U Usain Force and also Poetic Mover. Down the back, Thunder Rocks in front. Fashion Guru one length away. They're clear of Hairless Chaser. Blackjack to win and further back was come closer. Round the turn, Thunder Rocks still in front. Fashion Guru tries hard. Thunder Rocks too good though. By a half to Fashion Guru. Hairless Chaser made good ground for third and backjack to win, clocked in fourth. Then came Come Closer Poetic Mover, Elite Elijah, and last of all Usain Force in about 30 and 4. One Thunder Rocks, 380 and 150 for Stephen Arnold. Two Fashion Guru, 160. Seven Hairless Chaser at 520. Three is fourth, backjack to win. Yeah, Mike, um, happy to hold here and. Slot in with the other venues where need be. Alex the Great, the favourite here for Paul Cucci. At um, 160 from box three. Green light. Set the 600 boxes away now. Alex the Great came away oh, a bit worse than midfield. Going fast there. Dashing Courtney, one of the outsiders. Tackled by Madam's Folly. Bit of bond up to third. Then Alex the Great. Followed by Rose Porsche and last of all is Give Me Beans. With 300 metres to go, Dashing Courtney joined on the outside by Madam's Folly. Railing through now, Alex the Great comes into the fray. Then Rose Porsche and Bitter Bond working off the back section. Madam's Folly in front by a length. Alex the Great's got its chance to come through on the inside of Good Enough. And then came Rose Porsche and Bitter Bond on the turn. It's Madam's Folly and Alex the Great. Alex the Great went home the better. Skinny win to the favourite. Alex the Great about a neck to uh, Madam's Folly. Rose Porsche a third, Bitter Bond fourth. Then came Dashing Courtney, and last of all, Give Me Beans in about 35 and 5. 3, 7, 4, 8, 3, Alex the Great, 180 and 140. He had to sweat it out, but eventually he's got there. Over 7, Madam's Folly, 240. 4, Rose Portia, no third. 4th in number 8, bit of 3, Withcott Wizard, 350. 7, Miss Garoo, she's the late firmer into 380. This is a decent 4th uh, and 5th grade final, really, over 600. And number eight lucky charger accomplished at the distance is nine dollars. Green light, race seven Albion set. Racing with Cot Wizard away, okay. Space Wave missed it a little bit, but now is railing through. It's uh, Treblig Ruby in front, joined by Space Wave. With Cot Wizard rails through to third from Lucky Charcha, and then came Miss Carew. She's got a bit of work to do. She's trying to burrow to midfield. Then Black Jackson, Char Char Express and Native Rose, the last one. Along the back, Space Wave, one and a half to Withcott Wizard, who's closing. A length and a half, Miss Carew. And they've raced away from Black Jackson. Further back was Treblick Rudy. But Space Wave's got a good kick around the turn from Withcott Wizard and Miss Carew. Space Wave in front, clearly too good. Space Wave goes on to win it from a camera between Miss Carew and Withcott Wizard. Lucky Char Char in fourth placing, so it'll be a very popular uh, first four combination. Behind them, Black Dax, in company with Native Rose, Char Char Express and Treblick Ruby. Last, the winner is simply too good. Space Wave, 260 and 130 for Tony Zammett. From a photo between seven Miss Carew, $1.50, and three Wiscott Wizard, also $1.50. So there you go. Keep an eye on that. Townsville tomorrow night. Rockhampton Wednesday night, their meeting's back about 20 minutes from what we've been used to lately as far as starting time is concerned. OK, green light, number two, Reckless Driver at $2. Tats bet favourite, they're set, they're away. Reckless Driver began beautifully, straight to the early lead from CEO coming up to join it, followed by Pearl Zarzinger and then came Vanaheim and Big Dak and further back was Smashing Denser and then Capera Bandit and Swap is the last one. In the back section, CEO takes the lead by a length and a half. Reckless Driver, Pearl Zarzinger coming home gamely out wide. Clearer Big Dak and then Vanaheim and further back with Smashing Dancer. On the turn, CEO just in front. Reckless Driver on the inside, grab the lead and Reckless Driver goes away now to win it from oh, CEO second, I'd say, and those to Pearl Zarzinger. Possibly Vanaheim fourth. Big Dak not far away. Neither was Smashing Dancer, followed by Capera Bandit and Swap. 
Reckless driver, $2 and $1.50, anything but reckless. Very cleverly railed on the home turn and it's got the prize from a photo between 8 and 3, CEO and Pearl Zarzinger. Fourth in will be 7, Vanaheim. At least for the first four players, the, the 7 sneaked in for fourth. It was a $58 chance on the win to two faves. Board they come. This is race 9, Albion Park. The Image Tech Solutions Grade 5 stake. Charter for Christina Appap into $1.60, number one. Two Sunny Kibble shows $3.20 for Rod Hur on the second line. Green line. Ready. Racing. Charter popped out nicely straight to the early lead from Sunny Kibble. And here comes Chloe's mate down the outside with a good turn of foot. Up to the first turn though, and Chloe's mate crossed over by a length and a half on Charter and Sunny Kibble whipping up to a close third. Then Wu Rina Wu beat her a surf, followed by National Diamond. Well back is Berman's Boots and Stubby Cooler, the last one off the back. And Chloe's mate is the front runner. Coming after it now is Wabira Surf around the turn. Chloe's mate grabbed by Wabira Surf on the inside, who's just in front. And Wabira Surf beat Chloe's mate. Charter third, National Diamond fourth. Then Berman's Boots, Sunny Kibble and Stubby Cooler last of all. Well, there's the first winner from a box draw wider than five on tonight's card. Six has beaten seven, one and eight. Six, Wabira Surf for Glenda Dart, 13.30 and 3.90. Seven, Chloe's Mate, $1.90. One, Charter, no third. Fourth will go to number eight, National Diamond at 20. Four, I'm Lily Hot, 5.10. Six, My Mali at 3.10 and number eight, Marani's Rose at 7.70. Close to the final payout because they're all locked in. Green light. Off they go. And holding shot out well. Tackled by Gold Dust Baby. And here comes My Marley down the outside as they go to the first turn. Crosses over. My Marley got away. Favourite leads by four. Silver Char Char second. Holding shot is third. Then Gold Dust Baby. I'm Lily Hot. And Rani's Rose the last one. They're coming off the back. And My Marley out by five. Silver Cha Cha is the margin abbreviator and they're well clear of I'm Lily Hot followed by Rani's Rose. My Marley in front, Silver Cha Cha is going to run out of time. My Marley in front wins by three quarters to Silver Cha Cha. Third, Rani's Rose. Fourth in, I'm Lily Hot. They were followed by Gold Dust Baby. Last is holding shot in about 30 and 6. 6, My Marley. 270 and 180. Oh, we did tip the last winner, which is um, something. <laughs> Two silver charger at one dollar ninety. Thirty and